Hey guys, it's me. I had gotten a lot of requests to do um, a video where I do my makeup and do a little bit of soft spoken and um, whispering. So I am going to do that today. Okay. So this is my makeup bag and I know that I've shown this before um, I did like a rummaging through my makeup bag type video a while back um, it's really embarrassing because the quality is just even worse than the quality now <laughs> but anyways it does make some nice sounds Before I begin, before I begin, I'm just going to use these Maximum Strength Cleansing Pads, and they're Deep Pore Cleanser. any makeup on right now, but I do just want to get all of the dirt and grime off my face before I do my makeup. So, I'm just going to take this pad and just begin by doing circular motions on my forehead. begin bringing it down my cheeks in the same circular motion. Down my chin, jawline. Above my lips. my other cheek. And my jawline. And down my neck. And then I'll just bring it up onto my eyelids. I had a little bit of fine makeup left over. Generating antioxidant moisturizing face lotion. It just has this pump right here. Just gonna pump about 
that much. Kind of warm it up with my fingers. And apply it to my forehead. Cheeks. Chin. Make sure that that's really wrapped in. It's just gonna give me a nice base for my makeup. Okay, I'm just gonna put this cap. has all my eye makeup stuff. I'll get to that later. Okay. First I'm gonna start with my foundation. Comes in a pump. I'm just going to use foundation all over my face. Um, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, so what I do is just cover up all my acne scars that I have. Um, they're all pretty recent, that's why they're all really red. Um, and then I just have some redness around, around my nose that I like to conceal. So I'll just begin there. Chin. this area gets really red. I think that's common with a lot of girls. Okay. So these scars are still pretty red, so I'm just going to go in with a concealer and just make sure that they're really covered up. I have this stick concealer. And this tiny little concealer brush. I'm just gonna dab it in. And just dab it right on. And I'll blend it in in a second. Okay, sorry, I'm using my laptop as a mirror. Okay. It's not going to be perfectly blended, but that's okay. I know it's not going to cover it up completely, but it does make it less noticeable. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of um, acne, just um, when I do have it, it scars, so. Now I'm just going to use a mattifying powder all over my face. And this is just going to help to make sure that I stay shine free and it's going to help set the makeup that I just covered right there. So I'm going to use this powder. I'm 
take this big fluffy brush and just use this to swirl in powder. And I'm just gonna swipe this all over. I love this step. It's really relaxing. This brush is so soft. Then I just like to bring it down on my neck. And my take a blush I have some blush and this compact looks like this here there's a highlighter a bronzer a lighter bronzer and a blush bronzer. And I use it as a blush. So I'm just gonna take the opposite end of my concealer brush in here and just dip that right in here. And use that to swipe on my cheeks. Gonna grab a little bit more. Okay, so it makes me look not as ghostly as the side, even though I live in Florida. I have very, very pale skin. I do tan easily, which is surprising. I never really burn, but naturally I'm very, very white, like right now. I, um, I also, my, my tan always fades really fast. And then I like to take whatever's left over on my brush, just bring it down the center of my nose, and up here on my temples. Just kind of warms up my face a little bit. I can bring some right down the center too. Just like that. <laughs> Alright. So my face is done gonna go in this smaller pouch that I have. this palette right here. Okay, I'll show you. There we go. It has um, colors that are very similar to my eye color, as you can tell. <laughs> so I like to use them um, just because it kind of complements my eye color a little bit. So I'm going to take this, this light shimmery champagne color load this on the brush, dab 
come off the excess. I'm making blending on my eyelid. I'm just gonna bring it all the way up. into the inner corner like that. Okay, gonna do it again for my other eye. Again, tap it off. Just blend it. Doesn't have a whole lot of color, but it does kind of cover up any veins that I might have any darkness in my eye. Okay. So next I'm going to take this bronzy color right here and I'm going to put that all in my crease. So there we go. Kind of like a shimmery brown. showing up on camera, but it is in person. Okay, I don't know if you can see a difference. A little bit. I'm just going to do this again on the other side. And all this does is just kind of define my crease a little bit. Kind of put some shadows back on my eye. Kind of bring some warmth. Okay. I haven't decided whether I want to use this dark purple, although it looks brown on camera, or this olive green. I usually use the olive green. I don't know if you can tell. I can't really tell, but... Hmm. I'm gonna go with olive green. So, again, I'm just gonna load the brush up just a little bit. And again, I'm just gonna put that on my crease, focusing more on the outer corner. Again, it's not really coming up on camera. But I promise it's there. You just have to use your imagination. It's not anything dramatic, of course, but... I'm just going to connect it to my lash line. natural, but well, it looks natural. Of course, it's not natural. <laughs> um, I always wear very natural looking makeup, um, just because I'm not very adventurous. <laughs> but I, um, I was always envious of the girls that could pull off really cool makeup, because I don't think I The eyeshadow. Now I'm just gonna do some eyeliner and some mascara. So I'm gonna take this liquid liner and just line the outer half of my upper lid. And the reason
reason I only do the outer half is just so it looks again a little bit more natural. I'm gonna try and do this without a mirror. And all it's doing is just darkening my lash line, making my eyelashes appear nice and dark and thick. This is really hard to do without a mirror. I'm sure you can see a difference. This is a little bit darker than this one. Here we go. This is insanely hard to do without a mirror. I usually have my face like an inch away from my mirror so I can do this. I'm probably gonna like walk away from this video having really crooked eyeliner. just kind of uh, defines my eyes a little bit and makes my eyelashes look a little bit darker. Okay. Oops. I'm just going to take some mascara. I'm gonna get a little closer so I can see. Oh god. It's like a little fuzzy on it. I'm not even going to attempt, or maybe I will, because it kind of looks funny without my bottle lashes. I really can't see though. Okay. I hope that that's good. My laptop doesn't make a very good mirror. So oh, yeah, that is my eyes done. Um, that's usually what I do on a everyday basis and everyday basis. If you want to see a little bit closer, when I get closer you can't really see the eyeshadow or eyeliner really, but it's there, I promise. <laughs> okay, um, the last step, I don't usually do this every day, but if I'm going out somewhere. I like to uh, just put a little bit of lip gloss on just so I can feel a little bit more put together. But again, I don't, if I'm just going to class or something, I just wear minimal makeup. I'm not trying to impress anybody there. <laughs> it's just my classmates. That's usually all I go. Okay, so I just take this it's like a light pink color okay and I'll just put this it's a really light pink so I don't put a whole lot on else I would look like a ghost 
So I just put a little bit and then rub it in. Like that. So it just gives my lips a little bit of a light pink. And that is my makeup all completed. Um, it's a little bit more steps than I usually do, but for the purpose of the video, I figured I would include it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I, I'm sorry for all of the girly videos that I've been posting. I, I'm just getting a lot of requests to do them, especially hair related videos. I'm getting a lot of requests for, so it must be something that triggers a lot of you. So I'm really sorry for anyone who um, gets really bored watching curly videos. I'm sorry I'll have regular videos up soon, I promise. Uh, take care everyone, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.